Hey, what's your secret? You got the kind of that leaves when speechless. It could be model, multitasking, genius, yeah. Welcome back to another episode of the Boho Bus and our journey into building a tiny house. Time for some more painting. Gonna be painting Ravenclaw colors in one of our son's room. Got it all. Hey, what's your story? It can't cast mom in 40 under 40. It's soccer practice in your high heel glory. Yeah, you do it all. Hey, but the cup won't you listen? Oh. I'm a woman, stronger than what you would believe. Way more than what's plain to see. You either got it or you don't. I'm a woman. That'd be our dog drinking some water there. We're having our first snow outside. Snowing. Very lightly. Also for our bathroom. It's called Copper Facade from Lowe's. 17 dollars a tile. So if you're gonna do this, be prepared for it to be expensive. I didn't get near as much as I needed to get because I thought I was getting more, so I'll have to order more. So just keep that in mind. Time to paint my son other son's room. Got some backsplash done in our bathroom. My son is going for a tropical look. These are tears in my eyes. I still struggle in wanting to use. And the things that my friends say to help me get through it really mean a lot. Kim, Pat, thank you. My husband, I love you.
we're done. Sun's room. Number one. Tropical colors. And then room number two. to show you guys a little setup of how we got the shower going right now it's very basic we live in Idaho where it's like freezing temperatures outside there's absolutely no way that I can put a tank outside filled with 28 gallons of water and it not freeze it's gonna freeze so I have to have the tanks inside and right now we have two 14 gallon drums and um, put water in there so that gives us 28 gallons I have a bucket heater that I stick inside and then warm that up I actually ordered another heater inversion immersion whatever water heater goes in there so I'll have two soon so that it speeds up the heating time right now for 14 gallons if I were to try to heat the whole thing it would take three three and a half hours so it's 8 30 right now I'm gonna start it uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a shower by 11 11 30 anyway that's kind of the process that we have going on with it I then stick my camp shower inside of it it has a pump and then I shower with that it's really super easy and the water is hot so we'll show you guys more of that later imagine says I forgot to say please subscribe to our channel oh there she is <laughs> we're just waking up no, it's I'm Thanksgiving scraping. oh sorry We've got bucket heater off Amazon. It's a big mama, but you know, it's got a big job to do. And we're gonna cut its job in half when I get the other one. That goes in there, real nice and easy. And now we wait three, three and a half hours because I guess you need more than one to really heat it up quick. And I say three, three and a half hours too, because I like the temperature water to be 105 degrees or even a little bit more, like 108. Regular hot shower water every time. And then we got the shower. Our camp shower goes inside. It snowed outside. Can I just say, we've been very blessed with our electrical needs. I can run the microwave, the oven, a toaster, the fridge, the TV, a vacuum, my hair straightener, a blow dryer, a water heater, anything and everything. I run it here.
You're driving pretty good, sister. We gotta get more stockings up. I don't know where the rest of my stockings are. Like, where's mine? Where's dad's? Where's Gabe's? <laughs> Thank you for this Bombay breakfast, babe. You're welcome. It's a winter wonderland out there. Got all the kids' bunks up and running. I love bus life. We had a great Sunday morning. It was beautiful, my husband and I. Up there in the loft, hanging out. Good stuff. I just had to show you how Mew's living her best life over here. This kitty looking out the window at the world. So the washer is officially up and running. The only thing is it advertises that you have to have it 39 inches at the max to drain down into the tub, but that's a lie. This Kappa brand, which I still highly recommend, requires the tubing to be down onto the ground and I have it drain into that water bag right there. And we'll have to show you what a load looks like, but it does take a whole drum of water though. Well, not the whole drum, but pretty close to the whole drum of the water. So really in reality, I can only do probably three loads here of clothes. But if there was an emergency and I really needed to get some clothes done and we're not hooked up to water, then I could still do it. And then if we are hooked up to water outside, the window there, when we are hooked up, we can do unlimited loads of laundry. I can just keep filling these tanks up and doing a load. Fill a tank up, do a load. Back and forth. And have unlimited hot water. Welcome to your meditation. Relax your shoulders. Elongate your spine. And begin to take a couple of deep breaths to release any tension you may be feeling right now. Focus your attention on your breath. Feeling the coolness of the air coming into your nostrils and the warmth leaving your nostrils. <laughs> 